My name is Karen Algersma. I am a senior producer, TV reporter, lifestyle specialist, food obsessed human being. This summer, come explore humankind's quest for the final frontier. I graduated uh, about 22 years ago with a journalism degree, and I've sort of been in the industry ever since. My name is Jen Moranitz, and I'm a video journalist, and I've been in the industry for two years. My name is Bill Curry. I've been in the uh, journalism business for 25 years, mostly at the CBC, of late at Shaw TV. Karen, Jen, and Bill have each been successful in their own ways. They got into the industry for different reasons, but they all wound up in the same place, here at Shaw TV in Victoria. For me, it's, it's definitely about the people. It's about, you know, everybody has a story. I love the creativity. I love the fact that you can just come up with this idea and collaborate with other people in the community and people you work with and create just this incredible story. You have to want to tell that story to somebody. Telling a story, whether it be their life story, their passion, something that's sad, or something else that's happened to them. This industry is all about telling it and learning how to tell it can be difficult, especially as an intern. So come, enjoy and indulge. In beautiful Glendale Gardens, I'm Sarah Wright for The Daily. To be successful as an intern, you have to do many things. But as Kid Care Canada's video footage shows, there's ways to cure postpartum. But one technique is more important than anything else. Be the sponge. The sponge is what is going to uh, carry you through this industry. No matter if somebody's been in the business one year more than you have, they have something. Bill gave me this advice on my very first day here. You learn everything you can by listening and asking people to show you how they do things first and refine it on your own later. An intern is here to learn, so that is the essence of it. But I think that every intern is here to learn something different. So I think that the, the key is really communication. What is it they want to learn? What is it their strengths? What are their weaknesses? Where can we help support them? I think there's a lot of people that are coming into the industry nowadays, and I think there's a lot of competition out there. And one thing I would recommend is to just stay humble, mm -hmm. stay true to who you are, and just work at it. Just work hard, and if you work hard, it will pay off eventually. The more you know, the better chance you have to get a job. I agree, but if you don't like it, you're never going to do well at it. So let's say you, oh, I know how to shoot, but you suck at it. How are you going to get a job shooting if you stink at shooting? As soon as you come out of school, you're always like, I know how to shoot, I know how to edit, I learned it from my professor. Yes, you did do that, but you're dealing with people who have been in the industry probably for years, and they know how to do it as well. I want this. You've got to make mistakes to learn. So we're looking at people that are not afraid, people that are willing to take on projects and uh, learn from their mistakes. Because of course at this stage of the game, you definitely have a long ways to go in getting your experience. As an intern, sometimes it can feel like you're going into overload. Like there are a million things going on and you want a piece of each one. Slow down, take a breath, and dive right in. Just work hard, work your butt off, and do what you're told. <laughs> and don't try and act like you know everything. That's the worst thing. Believe in yourself. You know, you are going to have days where you think, am I good? Am I good enough? Um, especially if you get in front of the camera. My best advice for anybody entering into the industry is to be wide open to ideas and wide open to criticism. There might be a day where somebody's really horrible to you, really horrible to you, and call you useless, make fun of you. No might even say things about you that will question your whole career and you cannot let those people or let those comments um, in any way shape who you want to become. You have to grow and you have to grow every single day. Now the person at the other end, myself, 25 years in the business, guess what? I'm having to learn every day too. Don't choose a career, choose a life. You know, as you're you know, moving into maybe getting married, maybe having children one day, Choose a life. Decide what do you want your life to look like, not just what your job looks like. Over the past three years, this life is what I've driven towards. I've gone to school, I've been an intern, and I've even moved across the country. And I've discovered a few things about myself along the way, such as my love for editing, my passion for storytelling, and my desire to start my career. In Victoria, I'm Sarah Wright.